Hi, in the package chaser, we will configure part of port address translation. So this is our topology. Router 1 and Router 2 are connected to the internet, to the web uh, server here. And on Router 1, we will configure part with pool. And here's our pool. So with this pool, we have two IP addresses because it slash 30 and on the router 2 we will configure part interface and there is the IP uh, the address the public address now firstly we will configure part with pool on router 1 firstly we will configure an ACL to permit any address it belong to this network So we we'll create an accelerate one and permit with the Y card. Next, we will configure a pool of address for NAT, IP NAT pool. And uh, we name is any pool name. Oh, sorry, in pool name. Now, uh, the pool should begin with 2, 3, and 3. And the last IP is through three four with the net mask. And next, we will associate ACL one with the NAT pool and allow addresses to be reused or uh, using port uh, translation by using the command ip not inside source list one or uh, acl one pool any not any not name any pool name and overload means what uh, translation and on router one there are two inside address the gigabit zero 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 and gigabit zero zero one and one outside address uh, one outside interface uh, here the serial zero slot one slot uh, zero so interface at zero one zero IP not outside and interface range give it zero 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 one in the file range in the file range you give it zero 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 one IP not inside now we will verify Dynamic NAT with overload implementation. Now on PC1, I open the web page, enter the IP address. So it's successful. On PC2, It's successful too, and we can 
views and not translation. Show IP not translation. And here is the translation for the inside or the one PC inside local to the inside global the first IP address of the pool and another PC on the LAN network and this is the first IP public IP on the pool and you can see here is the port number 1024 and the second one is 1025 So it only use one public IP for the NAT because you should notice that all four devices were able to communicate and they are using just one address out of the pool. And PAD will continue to use the same address, this one, until it runs out of port numbers to associate with translation. The PAD use 16 bits for port number so it equal to about 65,536 ports so when that number is rich the second IP address will be used on part 3 we will configure part using an interface so it's the same a task on uh, uh, like part 1 and part 2 the difference is that you don't configure a part pool on router 2 you only use the uh, interface serial, serial 0 slot 1 slot 1 on router 2 for the pool so I think it's your job so good luck and thanks for watching